In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Christ is risen. Begin by reading Acts chapter 11, verses 19 to 30, and then John chapter 4, verses 5 to 42. The living water, the sparkling water, the running and fresh water, the refreshing water that the Lord talks about to the woman at the well in Samaria in John chapter 4, is, of course, the Holy Spirit. In Acts of the Apostles, we can see how this pouring out or pouring forth of God the Holy Spirit into the Apostles affected them. Luke chooses Barnabas to show us what the effect was like. Not even one of the twelve, one of the seventy-two probably, but he chooses him in order to show us what the effect of the Holy Spirit can be like in my life, your life as well. It says of the Apostle Barnabas that he was full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, faith, belief. So if we look to him, we will certainly be able to see what these effects are in his life. But first of all, let's look to see what St. Luke does not say about the Apostle Barnabas. Does he do lots of miracles? No. Does he astonish people by speaking in tongues? No. Does he have a funny guitar band and an amplifier? No. Does he wear glitzy clothing or use other showmanship tricks in order to get the message over. No, he is none of those things. So what is he really like? Well, we know by reading this passage in Acts chapter 11 quite a lot about him and how the Holy Spirit has poured into him and brought out these gifts within Barnabas. First of all, he is obedient when the apostles decide that he should go to Antioch from Jerusalem, a huge journey in those days, he goes. He is obedient to them and he, is a, he goes to Antioch itself. And when he arrives, he sees the grace of God active in those Antiochians. He is clearly prayerful. He must be. And therefore, and because of this, he can perceive God's hand at work within these people. Remember, these were the first Gentiles to be brought into the faith in any numbers. And he's glad. He's not jealous. He doesn't go huffing and puffing about all this happening without due process and so on. He's glad when he sees the grace of God active and working within these people. Nicely, and really nicely, St. Luke sums up a lot about Barnabas by saying that he was a good man. What a beautiful thing to say about somebody. He doesn't go on and on about all sorts of other stuff. since he says he's a good man. And part of that goodness of him meant that he wasn't wanting to claim all the glory of the mission for himself. He goes to Tarsus, he finds Saul, who we know better as Paul, and he brings him back to Antioch in order to share the mission, co-working cooperatively with St. Paul. He knows that he has some things that are not so good about himself, and that Paul can probably do a better job, and certainly working together, they can do a much better job than working individually. He's patient. There's no sudden sort of smash and grab mission. He's there for an entire year. And what does he do? He teaches. He doesn't keep the gospel to himself. He doesn't set himself up as a great personage, instead of which he takes what he has and he distributes that knowledge to those who need it in the Church of Antioch, 
so that after a year he can leave and they have everything that they need. So he teaches. He doesn't keep the gospel to himself. He releases that authority into and over the others by teaching them. And even what he teaches them tells us about him. He teaches those Antiochians to be faithful and have a steadfast purpose, just like he did. And we know that he was outward looking and generous. When he hears through Agabus and the other prophets, and he was not a prophet himself, that there's going to be a famine, he begins to raise money to send it to Jerusalem. He is looking beyond his own mission. And finally, he is described as trustworthy. The money that is raised, and it was a large amount of money, is sent by his hand. So you see, there's nothing particularly razzmatazz about being filled with the Holy Spirit. Nothing at all. But what is there, you can see in Barnabas. This is somebody who is filled with the living water of the Holy Spirit. And we can be like him if we open up our internal vessels to be filled with the Holy Spirit as well, so that the mission and ministry of our Lord can take place wherever we happen to be. Christ is risen. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen.